Choose your hero. Yeah, I, I like this a lot. The Boom ID put together this you know, kill anybody or kill any solo hero tri lane, and the answer is just hey, we're not gonna have solo heroes. Damage oh. in trouble, Stormhammer coming out, and he's gonna fall. It looks like first blood will go to Kezku. Him's now needs to be a little careful, but no further fall up. They just got in there for Joe Kim ready to go. And Tim's grabbing a couple more creeps there, get some of it stolen by the Rubik. Uh, do they have any stacks for the bat? Jokum? The wand treasures go. Jokum was not expecting this. Kinetic Field comes out, the Scream of Pain goes through, but Raven is fine. And now they're going to turn on St. Lucas. He has no mana left. He's going <laughs> after an illusion. St. Lucas, you got to get out of there, buddy. And he will. 14 seconds left on this blank, but he is safe and sound. He will TP out to the shrine. Kinetic Field, unfortunately, the wrong direction. If he went to the north, he could have got a glimpse off with the vision he would have gotten from the Kinetic Field. <laughs> Sadly, no such bugs. They're going to push him back, though. Sticking Apom stack starting to stack up here. As Q just trying to get this oh, going. But here here. Comes, yeah, this is going to be Chakram down and Whirling Death down. So this is going to be a huge amount of money for them to get. Could've been, this could have been great for TNT if they can get it. Now Tim needs to be careful. He needs to avoid dying because then he gets too much away. Sandstorm coming out. Good Burrow Strike coming in. All oh, those troops are so low. The Firefly coming up. The Storm Hammer in there. And it looks like Sam H should fall even with the Wand Charges. The Chakram comes in. Dream of Cell might burn down. Kuku with one more auto attack will do it. But he might lose his life along with it. The Kinetic Field might keep him alive. No Telekinesis for two seconds. FBZ has Chakram. He will hit it up. Kuku might still get chased down because Cute still has that Fade Bolt. He will use it. He's one auto attack away. 13 HP, but he's going to get to the Shrine. And TNC... Will at least get that kill onto Dream of Cell, so good stuff there. Yeah, I mean, it's a one for one, Sven going down. Disruptor getting a ton of experience, actually. He's almost level six, which is pretty scary. And Armel getting good damage on this mid tower. Yeah, but he might be dead for it, though. Chakram coming in, rolling death. Could be enough to get the kill. Telkinesis included. One more auto attack, and there it is, FBZ getting it with the rolling death. So, yeah, he did get a lot of tower damage. Meanwhile, bottom line, they're gonna go onto Dream of Cell again, and this time they're gonna bring him down. Dream is still finally having kind of a rough time in terms of getting run at at the beginning of the game. We didn't really see him too much of in the last series, but now two deaths right in a row. That that getting that kill is going to put him towards that early level six, which is significant in terms of finding kills. But they're going to set something up here in the mid lane. Armel might be dead. In fact, he's running across the river yeah. now. They're going to use the ensnare. Telekinesis first. Ensnare will follow up shortly thereafter. They have the Sonic Wave along with it. Breathe Fire coming in. No static storm yet. Sonic Wave comes out. Armel still alive. Won't fall yet. Tim's with a great Burrow Strike. And Armel will back himself up. Tim's might die for this Jockrim. I think that's a fine trade, though. Losing that hero, keeping Armel alive is... Ooh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I don't think Offlane Queen of Pain is destined to do much of anything this game. Really? So... And any any little bit of strength that they can eke out of the early game is, is going to be really important. FBZ is kind of impossible to deal with. They will have the Breathe Fire. Now he's taking a lot of damage. They still have they have level 6, but he doesn't have the mana. He's going to use his wand charges. Static Storm is ready, but now with no Kinetic Field, it's a lot tougher. They will get the Dragon Seal off. And now that should be enough with the Breathe Fire. Burrow Strike, and that will be what they get to get the job done. So FBZ will get dropped down. That's a Killing Spree taken away and given to Thames. They will keep the Tier 1 Tower alive and... Armel will get a little bit of tower pressure here onto this tier one. If I'm FPZ there, I'm thinking, why the hell do these support such high levels? Like, why does why is Sand King level six and why is Disruptor also level six? Neither one of them has the tome yet. Like, ten minutes is only just coming up, and no, oh, Sand King is just dead. That is going to be Sam H. And Dream of Cell can't even get off the Storm Hammer in time, and he's going to find two bounty runes for the heck of it too. So now Sam H oh, is up man. to 1,500 gold, seemingly out of nowhere. And a lot of those last hits went to Tim's, and you know, they just turned right back around, picked up two kills of his own, and now he's looking really good. I wonder if he's going to rush the blink, or if I, he I might go for a drum. I think he might. They're, they're getting a drum on another hero, so I don't think he's going to go for that. Uh, uh, big rotation bottom. No, six. Good glimpse back from Cuckoo. Static Storm down for 15. I don't think they need it. Three stacks of sticky plus a burrow strike, more than enough to get the kill. And Raven gets it with the Spirit Lance, and he is, in fact, going to be going for that Battle Fury, as we've seen previously. I mean, nobody's actively pressuring it just yet. But there is a dragon form coming up in just a second. And as soon as they lose that, that's a ton of the farm space for Sven just cut off. I mean, these, these easternmost camps, pretty much gone. It even makes the ancients a little bit less safe. MH, 1500 gold. He has a wand, but uh, he's going to get caught and killed. He already used those wand charges. There's nothing he can do there. And Snare plus Timbersaw on you is never a good time. As we sing his praises, he will go and get dropped down. And they might lose a tier one of their own in the top. Oh. 
Oh, they got mid. Static Storm out of the Queen of Pain and Saint taking another dirt nap. Since they will be able to glyph up their tier one. Uh, Tim's not working on a blink at the moment. Actually, just has the spirit vessel queued up. There. Hunting after Armel. Not an easy kill with all the burst damage they have. But they have now a Batrider with a Blink Dagger, and Sam H is probably going to try to put this to good use. In fact, he will. Not going to be an easy kill to get. The rest of the team is behind. They don't have Song. Oh, it's three song seconds. Song and one. And they've got the Static Storm to come in. It might be enough. Yeah. No. The Song of the Siren comes too little too late. Yoakum will go for the TP. They lose the Timber Saw. Very big kill. Great Blink reveal coming in on the side of TNC. Yeah, that was that was really nice. They got the, got the highest value kill. Set the Timber Saw back a little bit on his Bloodstone. And, oh, they're even running around mid lane right now, straight Dream into Dreamacell. This is a problem. Stormhammer comes out. He's got God Strength and Mask Madness, but it's too little too late as he's too low in HP. Oh, no. Are they going to steal down. this? Is there a huge stack here? Yes, there is. Yeah, there's a pretty big stack. PL with the Battle, Battle Fury. Fury. Too. Yeah, this is not good for your Sven at all. And this Disruptor pick comes out to be, again, one of the better picks we've seen Boom ID had in the last two games of the last series. In the meantime, they might find yeah. Grimsel here. Tim's is going to come in, look for a blink, rather a burst strike. They will have it. There's the last one. Good static storm. Yoakum, obviously no Song of the Siren. Not much he can do. They have to only look on. Armel gets up the stun onto the Naga along with it. They even get another glimpse back as well. Kez cute. He does steal the static storm. It's not going to matter, though. It's a double kill for Armel. And this will transition directly into a potential tier 2 tower as the wave is now moving in. Boom, just not feeling like they can really put anything together. They do have the song back up now, but in terms of starting off a team fight, things looking a little bit questionable. St. Lucas has a Thunder Strike on him. He's going to have to wait, and he's going to go for the blank. There's the glimpse back. They had just enough vision, and he is dead. Not much he could have done there, to be honest. Very well played from TNC to get that kill. Third point. So, and it felt yeah. like the same way with Fnatic last game and last series. The Naga Siren, I'm not sure what the point was. They, they Alright, smoke up. on smoke. Double yeah. damage Phantom Lancer, full duration. Big if they can find somebody. They're going to use the last of that'll be under oh, no. He is just dead. They're still going to try to fight this, though, on the other side. Tim's sandstormed up. They will dust him, but it's too little too late. It's time to get out. You need to run, I think. And Sam H is still running in. They're going to use the Glimpse back. That'll be under the Naga Siren. He will use the Sleep. Everybody will try to TP. Yoakum should be able to get out. It's... Yeah, he's fine. And uh, the only other hero that is still there is St. Lucas, who just runs away. He doesn't need to, be, need to be caught. But now... Yeah, the Sven just keeps dying and dying and dying. Can't really seem to get any farm going. And, you know, Sven is a hero that you just need... It's not even that he wants to be at the top of the net worth chart. He needs to be at the top of the net worth chart, right? You have to Center. be. Oh, man. Yoku Tim's spirit vesseled up. <laughs> Solo kill, pretty much, other than Thunder Strike. I like the Spear Vessel build. He doesn't even have a Blink Tag, he just ran in. Anyway, this is uh, a significant advantage, a distinct advantage, if you will, for TNC, as they are 11k net worth right now. They have everything going for them at this point. They've taken Roast, they've taken Aegis, they're going to take all the Outer Towers, there's a Tier 2 in the bottom lane. Damage will find yet another Lasso onto Dream, Dream Cell, and uh, not quite the game he was looking for, like he had in the no. last series. They've got the Glimpse back on Yokum, who has no Song. Raven is in deep. He has Aegis to work with. I don't think he's too really concerned about diving this tier 3 tower at this point. Sam H, he'll back himself away. And this tier 3 tower is probably gone. Maybe even the Rax as well. That popped the Alder Dragon for him. Buyback is available for Dream of Cell, but I think he's thinking, well, what, have, what have you, am I going to do at this point? They've got the break. Reactive armor. He's dead. Breathe fire. Dead for 12. Static Storm gets another. Stormhammer comes in. They want to get this kill onto the Destructor. He might actually get it. Dream of Cell doing some damage, but not nearly enough. Now focusing on Sam H, he will wand up, and Dream of Cell is about to die back. And there it is. Sonic Wave comes in nicely, but still nobody dead yet. Final will drop down the ages. Hibs is somehow still alive with Sandstorm coming through. FBZ is back into the fray. He'll still have buyback as he only... Oh he my god. Him, but he is blown away by Raven. Give him the rampage. the rampage. Raven Rampage, and he is owning. And it is probably... In fact, it will be game one going to TNC. TNC with the Mega Comfort Draft, the Timbersaw pick, turned out to not really do that much, I think. It's remaining.
I just think they have a lot of good options, Ooh. and so it's it's hard to say exactly what they're going to go for. This is also pretty good. It's not actually that, like... Uh, we'll keep our eyes on a couple of other lanes, especially lanes like top lane, maybe fully out Raven. But bottom lane, there's going to be an aggro trial lane for now, and Dream Assault's it's already been hit up with the gush. They have the uh, ice shards to come in as well. Tim's is looking for its Alkinesis, which it's they dead. have. And Dream Assault is just going to give away first blood at this point, not expecting maybe the aggressive trial lane at the start of this match. A level and a half of Feral Impulse for free. Yeah. Just because I'm Nyx Assassin, so he's, he's actually winning on the Harassment Wars so far. I wonder if he'll buy a bottle or something to just kind of continue harassing and, and try to win this fan. lane. <clears throat> or if he'll just try and settle into farming a bit more. Sam H! Uh, push back, dual breath, along with the range rolling axes yet again, getting the job done. And that's big, that's a Tidehunter getting dropped down. Now Cuckoo kind of getting turned on with the battery, so he's getting a little low. He has no mana, he has wand charges, but he can't get him off in time. And he'll fall, so it's going to be two kills. Gush will come in, Yoakum is now getting maybe turned on, but they get off the cogs. They're going to roll the Axis Tims again, and the Fade Bolt coming in, trying to keep them pushed back, and Tims will survive because of it. Uh, but... That they actually had happen this game was that the Clockwork didn't come bottom immediately. Like, he grabbed his level 2 somewhere else. I didn't see exactly where I don't know if he went and, you know, grabbed the two-minute bouncy runes or a snowball in. Maybe because he's taking some damage. He's got to try for the boots, or rather the TP away, and he does it smartly, but it's to this tower, which is... <laughs> what? Why is he still... So... <laughs> what? Um, he might survive even with that mistake. Four, three... They need a nice shark. Cuckoo what? Oh no, he's got the bottle now. He should be fine, he has rain. Oh, the raindrop. Oh no, the bait. That it was all a bait. Not, not good. Oh man, they had him dead to rights and pushed back under the tower so he had to go home and just waste time. Instead, they give a kill away. I don't know if he should have TP to the tier 1, maybe he should have TP to the tier 2, because that was the reason. His TP took an awkwardly long time, like TNC were like, yeah. oh, he's out. And then they realized that his TP had an extra second on it, and they're like, wait, why aren't we still punching him? What's happening? Why is he not yeah. TPing? Oh, that's why. Uh, Whirling Axe is again bottom. Sam H starting to get some levels, so he's a, lot, a little bit harder to kill now when that he's able to do Anchor Smash. He has Wand Charges, but he's out of mana. He got a fairy fire. He might need to use it. He won't get it off in time. I didn't get the X smash. Down. This is going to be maybe another kill here. Cogs are back up. Cuckoo is going to get run at by these rolling axes in Dream Cell. Needs to be a little careful, but he should be fine. And it's a double kill for Dream Cell. Nice. And again, this is what we talked about getting Dream Cell off to a fast start. And uh, so far, it's looking like that despite him not having the most CS in the world. That TP, like that. Because yeah, he, like he, like. Yeah, yeah, this is a headdress and two points for a limp pulse. I think he, I think he could have healed up just fine, but they're going for the Tinker again in the mid lane, but he gets the, gets the zap out. Fade Bolt, Telekinesis, Snowball will come in, March the Machines, kind of doing some damage to Tim's, he might fall for this, the Cog push back, he's still alive for now. Tim's will also get dropped in trade for, uh, of course, the Tinker, which is not a bad trade if you're... And they might go for more here, depending on how they feel, Joker, oh. Ice Shirts just miss. Obviously, RML does not have enough damage with level 1 Arcane Orb, unfortunately for him. I mean, you may as well buy a ring of Aquila as well, right? Like, yeah, right. Just buy an Aquila and a and a Dominator and just go. I guess the Dominator also helps your wave push anyway. The stain is pretty Dave sweet. Jeff. BZ might get ganked again. Here comes the snowball. Oh my TPs God. are going to come in force. So He'll drop the march down. This is a lot of damage, though. Good Cox keeps him alive for now, but he will still fall. Raven gets the job done with his wolves. Raven's taking like three Cog pushbacks, but now he's got to run against this particular hero, which is going the Troll Warlord coming in. Double kill for Raven. Dream, Dream of Cell can't quite get there, but look at Keskew coming in from the back lines, plus the Vendetta hit, which they didn't really need on him to secure the kill. Now the Ice Cap is coming in. Cuckoo getting turned on. Good Impale. They might turn this into a two for two, actually. Although here comes Armel, who's ready to fight. He's got his sanities at the ready. He's only got level one Arcane Ore, but he could use it to good avail. And Armel starting to do some work here. Of course, St. Lucas is going to get stunned up by the Snowball coming through. They also had the Boulder Toss from the Mud Golem. Armel still getting chased down the Whirling Axes. Dream of Cells just bombing him from the high ground. And here comes FBZ and Armel might fall here. This could be a big kill. He's so low. 50 HP. 3 HP. The Wolf. It's not going to be enough. It's going to get dropped back by the Telekinesis. Oh, God. And Armel <laughs> will survive. Is that the Helm of the Dom That's Wolf? Like, it's if he really good. wanted to, he could spike Carapace the Astral, but there's nobody here to help him finish the skill, so... Alright, top lane, Cuckoo kind of getting encroached upon here by the rest of Boom ID. They'll drop a ward close to the tower. Dream of Cell, they'll hook shot in. It's going to be Yokum to start things off, and Cuckoo might be in trouble. Good Snowball. It's gonna be tough to bring him down. There's no TP rotations. Actually, Cuckoo might just be left to his own devices and die. He'll use his Stick Charge for now, but they're gonna try to turn this. Yokum might give his life away at the very least. 
They're still going to try to chase down. They've popped up the, the drum charge as well. Dream Cell. They're going to try to body block him with these wolves. And here comes Raven all the way in from pretty much the bottom of this jungle. Ravage will come through. It will hit, in fact, onto Dream Cell, which is big if they can get the kill. He had the evasion going, though, with the whirling axes, but it's still going to be a double kill. His RML drops the Sanity's Eclipse down. And now Tim's body blocking Keskute, and he's in trouble as well. The Courier getting some vision in Keskute. There's not much he can do here. Ice Path will come in. It's a triple kill nice. for RML. That is a huge fight. Ravage used and two. Great effect for them to get those three kills. So I don't know what the point is of switching back and forth. Yeah, I don't know either. Melee and range. She's, Dream of Cell's just being cute. I yeah, know. I think so. They're going to run at him. Now he's, he's is he dead? Trouble. I All think right. so. He's already used his whirling axes. Ice shards will connect along with the telekinesis. So and this is the problem with playing in your own, the enemy jungle. It's it's always a risk. It's, never, not, it's not necessarily a bad idea, but he just got called out and, and get down for 30 seconds. So if I go there, I'm just going to die, so I'll just keep on uh, farming their jungle. Turns out that is not the play. Yeah, it's a tough situation. Oh, that was the Nyx Assassin yeah. getting it. Meanwhile, oh, they they're going to try to find Keskew. Yeah, he looks to be pretty dead. I even steal Ice Path. Pretty nice. Tim just oh. wants some Arcane Boots. He's, he's going to happily uh, yaps over that kill. He really did. Tim is kind of not getting super involved. He actually has seven assists. What am I talking about? He's super involved. I don't know why I said that. He's very involved in this game right now. Yeah, Tim's has been all over the place. He has been, uh, he's died a little bit, but not too much. Not again, Dream of Cell. Come on. This is very bad. Snowball, Warriors Punch, uh, Ice Shard should be available, and it is, and Dream of Cell hook shot it in. Maybe they can turn this around. He's going to maybe get another an auto attack or two. If he survives a second longer there, that goes perfectly well, but unfortunately he will fall. The Ravage will come out. Now the Ticker's caught, and Armel absolutely destroys him with that Sanity Eclipse. Still a 2 for 2 trade. In fact, Armel's pretty low. Everybody's really low on the side of the Dire here. St. Lucas is going to come in, hits an Impale, along with the Vendetta to get the kill. There's going to be the Macro Pirate, Armel in trouble. He's going to get dropped down. It's going to be four dead on the side of TNC. And now Sam H. Battery salts it up. He might be the fifth. St. DeLucas does not have an impale to work, but they will use the urn charge on him. Dual breath will just miss. And it looks like he actually might survive this. Potentially. He'll pop the drum charge. Swim fast, Liquid Sam fire. H. The flare. Oh, the wand charge keeps him alive. No. <laughs> He's actually the fastest man alive. He's got a world-class backstroker. But yeah, that did get turned around on them pretty heavily. I question Armel's decision to Sanity's Eclipse that Tinker. I think one more auto attack would have sufficed. Oh my god, they're just ganking god, Dream Cell again. It's not the, uh, so this is this is not his fault. Th this time it's like no, yeah, I agree. It's just sad to see it for him. He's been having such a good tournament today so far in terms of getting uh, some good work done. And today he's actually not even that far behind. He's died like three times in a row. Obviously he was doing way better before that, but even so. Oh, man. And Ice Frog getting a bless TNC in their rush on attempt here. Oh, my here. God. St. Deluca is the madman. Went for the Meteor Hammer and got a kill onto the... Pick. Okay. Uh, this is... What maybe, can they get done here? Test this? There's no Ravage. Are they just going to throw a Macro Pyre in there, or are they going to try an Ice Path and steal? Go for the hook right, shot. Then. Can they get it off in time? It's going to be close. Are they going to use it? Yes, they will. Can he get the Aegis? The Walrus Punch will probably stop it. They get the Snatch into Armel. The Roche Kill goes to Yoakum, so it's not even that bad. And here comes the Meteor Hammer coming down. Armel will avoid it narrowly, but still going to get Mana Burned. The Heat Seeking Missiles, that'll take the Aegis down. Now we have some TPs coming on mass. Tims is coming in. Raven is going out. They've got the Ice Path down. They need more damage. There's going to be the Impale coming in along with the Urn Charge drop down the Spirit Vessel, rather. Heat Seeking Missiles and FBZ is starting to go to work. The Vendetta hit. They get the kill. Armel's dropped down, and Dream Cell's the one to get the last hit. And now they'll take the Tier 1 Tower on top of it all. So good blink away, or rather force away from Armel to keep himself out of danger. They continue to spend the Heat Seeking Missiles. Sam H continues to be a world-class backstroker. They'll just sit around for a while as Raven continues to get farmed. Centaur Conqueror Stomp. FBZ is going to get dropped. Solo kill for Raven. He pops to the Necro Book. He is a great Centaur Conqueror Stomp. FBZ not expecting that Lycan to be there. Very big kill. And in the meantime, they're going to go further here. Sam H, they've got the Telekinesis. They will bring back this... Clockwork, and he'll get hit up by Armel, who's throwing bombs yet again. And a couple more auto attacks will do it. It's two that does the job for Armel, and that's a pretty big kill. And, uh, all right. Two kills. Oh, troll. He's actually still over at the wave. Is this neck? Or oh, is this like an ultimate going to last long blade. enough? Yeah, but there's a Necrobook zooming in to oh, come yeah, and find yeah. him. And his TP's on cooldown. Oh, no. Is Raven going to spot way. him? Uh, 
I think he, I think he's gonna get spotted. Oh, did they see yep. him? Yeah, there you him. go. Ice shards. Oh, perfectly done. Snowball will come in. I'll try to clear some of the uh, creeps, but it's not gonna go well. Tensor Conqueror stomp. Good and pull onto pull. two. The meteor hammer is about to fall as well. They can't really turn this with Dream of Self. The courier's, the courier's back. looking for him. The courier him. is still looking for him, but I don't think they can find this kill anymore. Well, he has no TP. Oh, my God, oh, he got the, the courier. courier. <laughs> and he's got a Shadow Blade, too. They have Do they have detection? Like they have, oh, they have, a, they have one sentry. But he's already far away from the sentry. They have another one placed over here. He's only got a small location of where he can be. They will see him Drop now. the Sanity's over. Oh, they, they, the found they found him. They won't even right, need it. It's the telekinesis that does the job. That was a good effort. Some time wasted for Dream of He got the courier. In the meantime, they'll also... Oh, no, Saint! Because, oh, man, the Necro unit's coming out. But Carapace comes in, will not save his life. The Meteor Hammer, however... Well, no, it won't either. Dominating Spree coming in from Raven. And uh, two quick kills for TNC in this top lane. Yeah. The Stroll is... He's going to have his BKB soon. He's starting to get farm. And late-game Troll is no joke, I would say. Yeah. As long as he doesn't keep oh. dying. Can they keep eyes on him? Another yep. sentry. Vanities. That's it. All right, nice. His BKB was not there. If it was there, maybe he survives, but flying out as that gank happened. But the XP lead is significant. Almost 12k in favor of TNC, which is pretty freaking big when you think about it. Cuckoo getting caught out. Gonna get Meteor Hammered. Can you get the snowball off? You might. Ooh, no, he got bashed. He was trying to turn nice around. Yeah, Very nice kill. Um, I mean, a couple of missed Meteor Hammers here and there, but I think that's just kind of the nature of the item sometimes. They're going into the Roshan Pit, and TNC not really coming over to contest this. They're starting to move there now, but I think they're really more focusing on this Gilkum Clockwork. Dave Ship will come in, he'll hook himself away. Do they know this is happening? Armel's gonna get in here in a moment. Slide, Ravage again, Armel's got the sanity. He drops it down, Dream Cell immediately buying back as he gets dropped. Raven popping his own BKB, trying to find Kez Cube would be a nice target. Look at that damage coming from Grits from Raven, absolutely clawing him down. They'll buy back again onto Kez Cube. Dream himself back in. Where's the detection? They have it. He's going to pop the BKB. He wants this Roach. Can he get it? Radiant, they'll get the Aegis. Yes, absolutely. So now he's got that plus cheese to work with. They will drop the Meteor Hammer down. Yoke in trouble. He will get killed. And it's time to back up potentially for TNC. I don't know if they want to fight into this. Armel, though, is owning at this point. They'll drop the Aegis down. Armel is 44 Intelligence Stone. Still taking a lot of damage coming in. St. Deluxe is trying to find something, but he's out of mana right now. Spike Carapace will do the job. There's the mana burn, but Armel's still fighting fit at this point. They will maybe get some damage here onto St. Lucas, but Armel doesn't have mana for this Astral. There's the lasers coming out, the refractive lasers. Guys, path was stolen. St. Lucas is going to get dropped and killed, and they look for maybe more. No, they're going to back themselves up, <laughs> trying to find somebody else. Oh. Armel doesn't have enough mana to actually get Arcane Orb. He's just doing regular old regular auto, auto attacks. attacks yeah. yeah. Oh my god. So, um, in spite of those back yeah. buybacks, that was really pretty bad, actually, for Boom ID. Move around, make sure the map is dewarded, and slowly try and push Boom off of their side of the map. Easier said than done, but I think that's probably the, the best approach yeah. at this point. They, they have to make it so Boom doesn't feel safe to split push at all. Look, shout on to Cuckoo, they're gonna get off the gods, and Cuckoo in trouble. Forced out, though, now should be fine. Gush will come in. Your vessel doing some okay work. They actually catch both Kez Cute and Yokum. Not sure they want to go on this. Prayer will fall in the meantime. Snowball will bring in a few on to Yokum. There's the Walrus Punch. Good refracted laser though, and that means Armel can't do the damage he wants, and he continues to do it. So he's gonna pop his BKB and well, Yokum's gonna die for it. On the other side, Dream Dreamacell is in against Raven. This is a man fight. He's gonna pop the cheese. You know, they still have Ravage available. Oh. Dreamacell's BKB is going to be done. Good impale. Maybe they can turn this around, but with the Ravage coming in, it's gonna be a problem. They're gonna slide in and use it again. Sanity's dropped down. Armel gets the double kill. A godlike spree for him. And Dreamacell dead for 100 seconds. Now they're looking for Kez Cute. The dual breath coming in. They need some stun. And they've got it. The Telkinesis is coming in, bringing him back down to Earth. And Raven also now a godlike spree as well. And just scream as hell, not able to man fight against eight Raven, even with the cheese. And of course, the tie with the Great Ravage. And then these cogs appear on the ramp, splitting up the fight, preventing the Jakiro from getting up there to help out. Uh, everybody on TNC, I think, making some nice plays. And just really strange to see the Troll Warlord unable to man fight. Oh, oh my god. No. That is a dead Nyx Assassin for 85 seconds. The good news is this is a Tinker, and his spam is significant. Raven is going to try to finish this off, at least the melee racks. BKB's gonna be down in a second. They could have gotten a lot more, and they might even get turned on here. Good force away, though, coming in from TNC. Now they're gonna throw the bombs on Yokum. He does pop the Crimson, but it's not gonna save his life. 
as that is beyond godlike spree coming out for armel so maybe now they can get more they just have to deal with this tinker and it's looking like that's pretty likely at this point here cameron is they're doing some serious work to these buildings yeah if they can take this they'll be one best of three away from the from the uh, cuckoo <laughs> snowball speed dragging him straight into the fountain Put up and farm. That's what he said as he dived in. <laughs> he knew. Part of why he's so good right now. Not only is he a dominant late game hero, but he has an ultimate that works so nicely with Refresher Shard. Oh, Tim's. Oh, Tim's. Oh, they don't see Dreamer Cell. This is awkward. Tide's super far away, but he's got Blink and Force. From Tim's in time. They use Battle Trance. They're looking for an Ice Path. Tim's is still fine for now. He has an Impale, Shapeshift is going to come in, they're going to try to turn this fight around. They have Ravage available if they want to blink Ravage. Good BKB from Dream of Cell, they couldn't get off the, uh, the, the the Ravage in time. They will find maybe a kill on to the next assassin. Now the Hex is going to come in on the CMH. There's Kim's. the Impale, FBZ is dead. Dead for 82 seconds, he does have a buyback available, he will use it, he's got his boots to travel. They'll try to find Dream of Cell here, he can't really afford to die, he's going to get nullified. He's dead for 85 with no buyback of his, of his own, and now you're missing a lot of your damage here. And Raven is just going to work. They've lost the Nyx Assassin. Kezcute is going to be next as Cuckoo comes in with the Snowball. And GG is called TNC. They 2-0 Boom ID in pretty convincing fashion as well. And they will move on to the winner bracket. I think the individual play from TNC today was good.